Hey everyone, in an earlier video, I talked about my most frequently used colors. Today, I want to talk about the colors that have lasted me the longest, and these are the colors. Queen of Crydon Magenta, Thalo Blue, Green Shade, and Queen of Crydon Red. These three colors have been with me since 2013. They are 15 ml tubes, and I've been using them for five years, and... They are almost used up, but it took me a very long time to use them up. Queen of Crydon Magenta is PR202, Thalo Blue is PB153, and Queen of Crydon Red is PV19. Let me swatch out the colors and talk more about them at the same time. So this is Queen of Crydon Red, PV19. As the main red in my palette, this is the color that I use to mix orange. You can actually dilute this color to get a pink. So let's um, mix this with new gumbosh. So this is new gumbosh, and this is how it looks when it's mixed with Queen Crydon Red. You can get a rather warm orange. Sometimes I would mix Queen red with a green to desaturate the green. So this is sap green. Let's add some red to it, Queen of Gradon red to it. So it becomes this dirty, ground, warm green color. I use it more often with a thalo green. So queen red with thalo green because it can get a really dark color, you know, those uh, shadow areas under trees. It looks like the paper is repelling my paint again. Queen of Crydon Magenta is a color that I use the least because I don't really mix purples. You can use this color to mix purple, but this is a color that um, I seldom use. Let's see what you get when you mix it with Ultramarine. You can get a purple, but it's not the brightest purple that I know of. So sometimes I add magenta to the green again to basically make it darker. This is close to black actually, with traces of phthalo green beneath. Last color is phthalo blue. This is a very strong, very vibrant blue you can dilute it to paint skies sometimes i use phthalo blue with lemon yellow to mix a yellow green a very bright yellow green so this is lemon yellow mix it with a little bit of phthalo blue this color here this is quite close to phthalo green but i have a phthalo green in my palette because I don't want to make my yellow dirty. And phthalo green is actually a color that I use quite often as well. So when you have phthalo green, you can add a red to it to make it darker, or you can add magenta to it to make it darker. Now notice here, the color is starting to neutralize. So I can mix a gray tone with these three colors. Lemon yellow, Queen Red and Thalo Blue. You can get a nice neutralized gray. I guess you can mix Thalo Green with Queen Red as well. Sometimes I do that, but not very often. You can get a pretty dark purple, a rather muted purple. This is with Queen Red. So Thalo Blue with Queen Magenta is going to look like this. And this is with Magenta. So these are the color mixes I can get with these three colors that have lasted me for more than five years. And one of the main reasons why these colors, these paints, they can last for so long is because they have incredible tinting strength. For paint with high tinting strength, you just need to use a little bit of that paint and you can get really intense colors. So a little paint goes a very long way. 
Quinacridone and Thalo colors, they are examples of paint with really high tinting strength. Queen Magenta, Queen Lilac, Queen Red, Queen Acridone Rose, Thalo Blue, Thalo Green, all these paint here, they can last for a very long time. The second reason why it took me such a long time to use these colors is with the subject matter that I paint, I seldom use colors like this. I seldom paint with red, with lots of red. I mean, Thalo Blue, I still use it quite often, but because it has such high tinting strength, it takes a long time to use. But for reds, I really seldom use them except to mix them with greens to tone them down. Sometimes I mix purples, but that's quite rare. Looking at this sketch, you can see that I only use a little bit of red to mix the orange. Even for the greens here, for the darker areas, they were mixed with ultramarine and burnt sienna, not mixed with red. Here, it's mostly green. I only use queen magenta for the water lilies here. And here, I did not use any red at all. This is actually a brown. Again, not a lot of red. Here as well, not a lot of red. Magenta, and I think this is the only area that I use magenta. All the other areas, they were mixed with ultramarine and burnt sienna. Let's take a look at the other sketchbook. Well, some reds to mix the orange, but that's about it. Orange, orange, just a little bit, just a tiny area here out of the whole sketch. A bit more red here. I guess Chinatown is the place where you can use a lot of red. Temples as well, temples with orange roofs. Not a lot of red here. And I don't use Thalo Blue as often compared to Ultramarine because I love the granulation in Ultramarine. It gives the sketch more texture. This has no red at all. This is Venetian red. Yeah. So with these two tubes that I have, I think I can probably use them for another year. Maybe one year for Queen Red and two years for Queen Magenta. That's how long lasting they are. After that, I'm going to switch to trying some other colors. So that's my experience. How about you? I would love to hear from your experience on the colors that you do not use as often or colors that you use often, but you can't seem to finish using them up. Let me know in the comment section below. So that's all for my video today. I hope this is helpful or informative. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.